this week on Poker After Dark. I definitely need some help. If you're in dangerous territory trying to steal my money, I'm giving you a tip. <laughs> now this looks familiar. Amy's a player, boys. Y'all had, no, <laughs> had never played with him. Now I have a pair. I hate poker. That's not looking good. Welcome to Poker After Dark, I'm Shauna Hyatt. Tonight, six World Series of Poker main event champions have each put up $20,000 and will compete for a $120,000 winner take all. We're playing No Limit Texas Hold'em and we've got an incredible lineup. Let's meet the players. Chris Moneymaker, Jamie Gold, Johnny Chan, Chris Ferguson, Doyle Brunson, and Carlos Mortensen. Let's get the cards in the air. Lines are at 1 and 200, and Ferguson is on the button. Carlos is the 2001 World Series of Poker champion. Chris Ferguson, the 2000 champ. I get, I get 2200. Sixteen hundred for Chris to call. Carlos betting 2,600 in the dark, in other words, before he even sees the flop. Bad news is Chris has flopped aces. 2,600 dark. Action is on the first hand of Carlos, poker you, after dark. How much dark. you playing behind? <laughs> okay. 6,000 even. 6,000. First hand. These guys don't waste any time. Might going to be a big chip leader, that's for sure. <laughs> Must be a big game downstairs or something. <laughs> Let's make it that. Make it. Gotta make it toy of a thing. No, you can make it ten. Make it ten thousand. No, I can make it ten thousand. That's right. Yeah, twenty seconds. Right. Carlos makes it ten thousand, four thousand for Chris Ferguson to call. Chris's aces are the best hand. Carlos is pressing the two queens. All in. 
First hand, gentlemen. Wow. <laughs> First hand. Hope that's a, Where's Sean? I need to know who's going to win. Hope that's a forerunner of events to come. Fast. All right. Say he's going to be fast, right? Yeah, we, we all said <laughs> we're playing fast. <laughs> We were lying. Carlos has already committed over half of his stack to this pot. Yeah, I think, mm. what you got, babe? Just you. Anything you Only want? you. Uh, bottle of water is good. Thank you. Bad coke. <laughs> Carlos has really dug himself a ditch here. First hand, all in. Who's gonna win? No. If I was in, I wouldn't be here talking to you. I know. Well. All right. How about this for a first hand? This is unbelievable. They're raising, re-raising, going over the top of each other. It's amazing. First hand. So you're an aggressive player. Are you surprised by this? No, I thought I'd be the first one to double up or go home. <laughs> but this is amazing. I do. I feel. I have a feeling that this is gonna be. A, you know, something we see a lot of in this match. This will be a real fast game. We're all we're all pretty aggressive players, so I have a feeling. Uh, yeah, this thing could be over real quick. Okay, let's watch. It's no penalty skill, right? Taking a hot time. <laughs> Not that I know of. Carlos has all the time he wants. There's no clock on poker after dark. All right, Chris. Fresh that are no good, eh? <laughs> Can't wait. Ferguson wins the first wow. hand in the battle of former champions. First hand. I say this this game is gonna be fast. Yeah. Yeah, I feel a lot of heat to my left here. I'm gonna be very careful about sticking my chip in there. One race. Two race. One bet. What did I have? Ace Jack. That's why you're so good. Spy race. That's First why one. you're a world champion. That's what you have, right? Exactly what I have. Yeah, you don't have Ace King, you have Ace Jack. Impressive read by Carlos Mortensen. Second hand, not quite as exciting as the first. You gotta start with less chips with you guys. <laughs> That's right, you need a spot or something. Yeah. You're not used to that, are you? <laughs> you're usually starting, you're usually starting out with more. All right, man, what's poker come to? You ever think you'd see this, John? What? You ever think you'd see this 30 years ago? No. <clears throat> if I knew that, I would play more tournaments. I'm sure you would have too. <laughs> Poker's come a long way since Doyle and Johnny won their main oh. event bracelets. Doyle in 1976 and 77, and Johnny in 87 and 88. Two of only three well, people to have ever won back-to-back -back main events, well, the third being money. Stu Unger in 1980 money. and 81. Just go to money. <laughs> money is good. Seven. Make it 700. Thank you. Carlos is rocking the Tower of Power chip configuration. Is that Doyle? Yes. All right. Come on, guys. Don't be so tight. Man. 
<laughs> Come on, man. We played before. Uh, well, you know, I'm playing with you. That's a Can't play alone. Jamie Gold plays his first pot. He won the World Series in 2006. Okay. Check. Doyle has a pair of kings. 1500. I raise. Raising. Jamie, on the other hand, has five high. Another 15. <laughs> I've seen this picture before. Was I bluffing? I don't remember. <laughs> He said five. Is it oh, he said call. Is it, is it call. Oh, you went either way. Nice hand. Simply stunning. Really, this is gonna be fast, huh? <laughs> the journey is just looking. <laughs> Wait. What's going on here? <laughs> Jamie's a player, boys. If y'all had, <laughs> had never played with him. You have I heard that. <laughs> I had five high. Players just getting their feet wet. More of NBC's Poker After Dark in a moment. Welcome back to Las Vegas, Nevada and more of NBC's Poker After Dark. Lines are still at 100-200. Doyle is on the button and Jamie Gold is first to act. Chris looks a little bit like The Undertaker from WWE. He's making the 1800. Johnny doesn't want to step in the ring and Chris takes it down. Chris Moneymaker, the only champion not to play a hand so far. He won the main event in 2003. Jamie Gold checks in the dark. Check. 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 All right. Check. Check. And turn. I say money there. <laughs> Both players are gun shy, and Jamie wins 900. I guess my 10 fold was good, huh? You call my bed on the floor, right? You might raise. <laughs> Maybe I raise. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't call. You raise. Probably raise. <laughs> so I say chip. <laughs> 
Carlos trying something different with this pocket pair. He limps in. Both Jamie and Johnny with a pair of nines, but Carlos bets with two eights. Carlos makes a set of eights on the river. Jamie probably wishes he could ask Johnny for help here. Johnny, sitting to his left, mentored Jamie during this 2006 run at the championship. Carlos wins a nice pot. You're one of the river rats. Okay, good luck, gentlemen. Oh, you're, who, whose team did you get on? You're not a river rat, are you, in the PPL? I, I would. You're not Louisiana, though, are you? I went for a little while. Huh? My family lived with hers for a little while. We didn't stay there very long. I put you on a small pair. I didn't think it was going to be eight. Uh, like in the river. Yeah, it was good. Hey, if that river doesn't come, I bet on the tuna. Please don't make me play this one. <laughs> <laughs> I know the eight is coming. I just got a little bit of that hand, huh? I played it because I was too eight. embarrassed to throw it away <laughs> on camera. <laughs> or ordinarily, I'd have thrown the thing in the mud. We're just getting warmed up. Don't go away. Lots more action still to come on NBC's Poker After Dark. Welcome back to NBC's Poker After Dark. Cocktails. Ow. Yeah, come on over. Don't be shy. Can I have a black coffee? Coffee, Carlos? Sure. Carlos added a few more stories to the Tower of Power. Nice of you to join us, moneymaker. Not your favorite flop with pocket fives. Okay. But your favorite river. Mm-hmm. 
Moneymaker's not going to call with nine high. Ferguson takes the pot. Pocket eights weren't so good for me. There's no talking. Who said you could talk? Maybe I don't play them right. They were until the river. <laughs> Five way action going to the flop. Johnny Chan has the best hand with two eights. Doyle has a straight now. So does Johnny. Chris Ferguson has a nut flush draw. Nobody bets, and Doyle and Johnny will split this pot with Jack High Straits. It's three, three week pot, uh, <laughs> almost. <laughs> uh, the draw, really wrong two draw, got there. Two thirds. Nice doing business with you, John. Okay, Master. Not the first time those two legends have done business. More of NBC's Poker After Dark. Still to come. Welcome back to NBC's Poker After Dark. Line still at 100, 200. Not much action since Chris Ferguson took over 12,000 from Carlos Mortensen in the first hand, and he still holds the chip lead. Jamie checks in the dark with Ace King. Chris has Ace King as well, and they both flop top pair. thousand to call for Chris. <clears throat> Top two pair for both players now. All in. All in. 
6,500. Okay. <laughs> nice hand. Yep. Play this one. Where was my heart? The river card will mean nothing, and these two will split the pot. A lot more exciting to us than it is to the TV viewers sitting here sweating us. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm sweating. I'm sweating. <laughs> On TV, they're like, ah, whatever. Boring hand. Let's yeah. see, change the channel. Yeah. Change the channel to what? It's 2.30 in the morning. I don't know if it's the hand or just the lights. Nice hand. I'm hot. <laughs> 40 minutes. 40 minutes. 40 more minutes? Too small for you now. Then 40 more minutes, and then 40 more minutes, 40 more minutes, fight. They double every, every time? Every 40 minutes. No, no I think 153. So. <laughs> is it 153? Might be. Players talking about the blinds, <laughs> and indeed, 150 and 300 is the next level. Nobody gets broke, maybe they'll escalate them. A lot of pokers left. <laughs> All right, let's see the color of their eyes here, see what they are. Not seeing the color of my eyes. No. Ferguson has a pair of fives. Doyle makes a pair of threes. Check. Mm -hmm. Doyle has trip threes now. Carlos has picked up the nut flush draw. He can also hit a four for a straight. Carlos spikes a pair of deuces, but misses everything else. That's a good card for you. Very good card. Now I catch a pair. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have a pair? That's Carlos. I catch a pair. Oh. Can't be good, deuces. <laughs> right? Could have been drawing for spades there, you know. Yeah, you can be running for spades, I know. We defy you, chat. We deny you, chat. It'll be good TV if you call it. All right, let's call it. Hey, I'm not lying. I catch a prayer. That's right. Carlos pays Doyle off. Yeah. I need a four, another deuce. You are lucky with those tan tray, tan dues. Tan dues, tan three. Pots. You gotta play what you get, boys. That's right. More pearls of wisdom and NBC's Poker After Dark when we return. Welcome back to Sin City for more of NBC's Poker After Dark. If I won with him like that, I'd play him too. Thank you, dear. Blinds are still at one in 200. Chris Ferguson is on the button and currently has the chip lead. Doyle Brunson not too far behind him, and Carlos Mortensen has the short stack. <sighs> Ferguson picks up the blinds. You see a little baby, Chris. Pretty girl. 
She's a little angel. I think she looked like more like mommy than you. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny's probably not too impressed. He's got four daughters of his own. So, Chris, you've got some catching up to do. No, not too long after, a year and a half after. It's on you, Jenny. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, look who decided to play a pot. Our first hand together? Yes, it is. The two newbie champions. Good. Moneymaker has an open-ended straight draw. You raise, you win. Good enough to take it down. I'm done with you. <laughs> <laughs> you just started. Heads up between Jamie and Carlos. Jamie flops a pair of kings. And river too? <laughs> <laughs> no river. Either I have absolutely nothing or I had it on the flop. Yeah. I think you got it on the flop. There you go. Way to coach him out of paying you off there, Jamie. Hey, these kids. I hate poker. <laughs> I hate him. Don't say that, Doyle. There's plenty more of the stuff still to come. Welcome back to NBC's Poker After Dark. Blinds have gone up now to 150 and 300. Sorry. Three-way action. Try. Carlos flops a pair of nines. Johnny has a pair of queens. Tower of Power just went duplex. Boy, a bunch of personal gentlemen. You're supposed to be chattering it up. <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> you start, Doyle. Yeah, like like the mouth. I don't ever talk. Is it I don't appropriate talk to talk when other people are in a hand? No, it's okay to talk. Yeah. Jamie. The trash talker of the table, and he's not saying a word. I, I feel like wow. it's inappropriate for me to. I haven't been in many hands. I, I don't really? want to talk in other people during other people's hands. Really? I feel all like right. it's inappropriate, but it's, it's not about poker. Is it I guess. intimidating being here at the table with all these fine fellas? Uh, sure. <laughs> well, I appreciate your honesty. 
<laughs> in a poker sense, absolutely. Well, let's hear a little more from you. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was first date awkward right there. Jan hadn't said two words since she said, you I says, I did say ten deuce and ten tray. <laughs> I already gave me ten deuce once. I threw it away. Carlos raises the button and picks up the blind. I got like three or four times. I think you every time. I think I'm scared. <laughs> you play this one. I'll try to play it once a tournament. I'm moving up to the 10 forward next year. Players are getting too good these days. You gotta go up to the yeah. 10 four, huh? Chris Ferguson is sometimes referred to by his nickname of Jesus. We've got our crack staff on the case trying to figure out why. I know I'm supposed to call, but Shauna called me short stack, so I'm going to fold. Mm. Is that with or without my pants on? You don't have 58 million anymore, so you feel short stack, is that it? <laughs> no, I heard her call me short stack. Ferguson and Moneymaker heads up. I'm feeling pretty stacked. Moneymaker's pocket sixes are best. That's what I get for throwing away the nine tennis spades. Funny, that's what I have too. Not <laughs> <laughs> so. a pair of red fours. I just, I just got the ace of spades. Maybe I had deuce nine of. We'll see if the tie play continues when we return with more of NBC's Poker After Dark. Welcome back for more of NBC's Poker After Dark. I know it's done yet. Lines are still at 150 and 300. <laughs> Chris Ferguson and Doyle Brunson, both the chip leaders. Carlos Mortensen still on the short stack. Not this time, Chris. Not this time. This is mine. No respect. Ladies don't show respect. <laughs> no. Oh, quick snoozies for Doyle. Oh, yeah. How did I only get one quarter of that? <laughs> That's how. What do you do with two jacks? Exactly. For Carlos, the same thing you do with Queen 8. Who woke Jamie up? <laughs> oh, whoops. How much? 1,050. That's an odd bet. Pot, family pot here. How attached are you to the tower? That's what I need to know. Doyle flops a gut shot straight draw. Carlos bets queen high. Jamie Gold has a pair of kings. 
that's what you do with two jacks, right? 1300? 1300. Got a call. You too? Can't let the short stacks play it out. Well, we got action. Here we go. <clears throat> oh boy. Doyle just made the nut straight. Check. There's the action card. Pocket jacks look better. Check. Pocket jacks do look better. I'm gonna check. Now I have a pair. Big bet by Doyle. Now this looks familiar. I have the same exact hand. And you took all my money at high stakes poker. I'm not calling you this time. Nice hand. Jamie lays it down and Doyle wins the pot. Good bet, though. Worked out all right. You, you, you think that? I had the best hand? Possible, but I don't think so. That's all the time we have on Poker After Dark. When we come back tomorrow, Doyle Brunson will try to hang on to his lead and take a step closer to winning $120,000. I'm Shauna Hyatt. See you tomorrow for more of NBC's Poker After Dark. Good night. Tomorrow on Poker After Dark. There he goes, boys. Created a monster now. Six kids and a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah.